everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You, and today we're going to be talking about the text tool. So the text tool is over here. It would be T on your keyboard, or you can just click on it over at your tools um, window here. So here we have um, a blank document here and we can choose, first we can choose our font. Um, if you don't have very many fonts to choose from, you can do a search online and you can find a lot of websites that have free fonts that you can kind of choose from. So I can choose my font here and once I see one that I like, I get kind of a preview over here and the name of the font over here. I can just click on it. Then I can choose what color that I want my font to be. And if you don't like these kind of preset colors, you can click over here on this box and you can do um, some more options from there. We're just going to use black. So here you can choose your font size. And let's go ahead and click here. And we can write a message. We can write hello. Once you're happy with that, just click the check. So I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to grab my font tool again. And now we can do some fun things with our font. So I can go ahead and I can give it a warp. So I can arc it. I can arc it lower. I can just give it a slight arch and of course all of these you can play with the sliders to um, give it a very unique kind of look. So you can see here that we can distort it so it looks like it's going way off into space. Um, or you can distort it this way. And here we can distort it like that or like that. So you have all kinds of different options with that. Um, if we have a different font, like Arial here, we can go ahead and we can give it um, an italic, bold, bold italic, or black um, kind of style. If I'm not using one of those, I can always highlight this and I can give it a faux bold italic um, underlined or strike through effect. And this is my paragraph style. This is aligning a left, um, centered, and aligning right. So here I have um, the toggle the text orientation so I can make my text horizontal or vertical. And I have my anti-aliasing on. And I'm going to show you what that is. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to zoom in real tight here on this. So right now my anti-aliasing is on, but if I turn it off you can see how um, blocky and staggered that this is. When I turn it back on it sort of softens up those edges. So that's what that um, does in case you were wondering. <clears throat> so that um, is pretty much how you can do your normal text here. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to change my font to something different. Something a little bit smaller. Here we go. And I'm going to show you some styles, some text styles. So we have all of these different kind of text styles here and I'm going to show you what those are so we can give it kind of like a drop shadow. Um, you can do an inner shadow, an emboss. There's all kinds of different ones that you can choose from and we are not limited to those. We've got all of these different complex ones. Um, we have whole bunch of different ones and you can remove your style if you don't like it 
And there we have this one. Oops. And again, we have them the whole way down. And so you can um, do all sorts of really fun things with your text. Um, your text is can be something that is extremely personal to you. And so you can really get in there and play with your text and make it something very personal to yourself. And so there we have our text and how you can use that to fit your um, texting needs. So thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!